as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 107, God's special message for today. April 9th, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Romans 13, verse 12. In a time like this, we should have but one object in view, the employing of every means that God has provided by which the truth may be planted in the hearts of men. It is the duty of every Christian to strive to the utmost of his ability to spread abroad the knowledge of the truth. God has waited long, and He is waiting still to have the beings that are His by both creation and redemption listen to His voice and obey Him as loving, submissive children, whose desire is to be near His side and to have the light of His countenance shining upon them. We are to bear the third angel's message to the world, warning men against the worship of the beast and his image, and directing them to take their places in the ranks of those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. God has not revealed to us the time when his message will close or when probation will have an end. It is our duty to watch and work and wait to labor every moment for the souls of men that are ready to perish. Now, just now is the time for us to be watching, working, and waiting. The end of all things is at hand. The Spirit of the Lord is working to take the truth of the inspired word and stamp it upon the soul so that the professed followers of Christ will have a holy, sacred joy that they will be able to impart to others. There is need of a deeper, stronger, more constraining testimony on the power of the truth as seen in the practical godliness of those who profess to believe it. We are to have the truth planted in the heart and teach it to others as it is in Jesus. The world is in a very solemn period, for souls are deciding what will be their eternal destiny. Satan and his angels are continually plotting to make void the law of God and thus to enslave the souls of men in the toils of sin. The darkness which is covering the earth is deepening but those who walk humbly with God have nothing to fear. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.